Victoria Police has launched a new first-of-its-kind recruitment drive aimed at getting more African-Australians into the force. As Carrie ann Greenbank explains, it's hoped the initiative will help to counteract growing social divides. At Federation Square, dozens of African nationalities are represented at one of their biggest festivals of the year. The mix of cultures and customs, something Victoria Police is hoping to mirror in the force. These two are our pioneers and uh, we would love to see you wearing the uniform. With only 1.8% of officers of African descent and the ongoing headlines surrounding African crime gangs, it's here at events like this that police are slowly working to bridge the social divide by recruiting more African Australians to the force. We know that we need to recruit more African Australians within Victoria. Victoria Police as sworn officers and as PSOs. So they've launched a new half a million dollar initiative with Victoria University, which includes fitness, classwork and of all things swimming lessons. After it was discovered that many applicants, otherwise well suited to the force, were getting knocked back because they couldn't swim. Have you ever swum before? No. I just started yesterday. You started yesterday? Yes. How's it going? Oh, <laughs> It's still hard. Growing up in the landlocked country of South Sudan, for Wal Malok, swimming was simply never an option. For others who have mastered a few strokes, there are other challenges. One of the guys in my group was letting me know that he only had learned to swim with his head out of water because he was never able to swim in clean water. Because as we're swimming, we're saying, put your head down, and he's not used to that at all because he's always had to keep his head up for health reasons and safety. At some stage, you might save someone's life, and you have to be quick and react quickly to save someone's life. While the strict standards of entry into the police academy haven't changed, this course, which has been two years in the making, offers a little kickstart for predominantly refugees hoping for a new career. I think the program is fantastic. It's great to see the opportunities that are being given to new arrivals to our country to have meaningful lives within Australia and certainly within the west of Melbourne. Running 15 weeks, it covers everything from the necessary fitness standards... Very important. I need to get my fitness up to pass um, the fitness exam. ..to numeracy and literacy skills, ultimately aimed at getting applicants into the force... Really excited. I've been waiting for it for the past eight months. ..then helping them along the journey with police mentors. Police are hoping to make the program a permanent accredited course and from next year it'll be open to all nationalities. They warned though it's not a shortcut into the police force. There are no guaranteed positions at the end. Those already in the service are fast becoming role models in their community. If we can get the first 5, 10, 20 people into Victoria Police for this program, that will quickly spread through the community say, it is possible, there are opportunities there, I can make it in Victoria Police and make that my career for the rest of my life. Kari-Ann Greenbank, Nine News.